What's up guys, it's Kevin here. Today I'm going to talk about a highly requested video and that is my half year experience with ICL. If you guys don't know, ICL stands for Implantable Contact Lenses where I implant contact lenses directly into my eyes so I don't have to wear glasses and I can see really clearly. If you want no more info, I've actually made more videos about it right here. Everyone seems to ask me this question, you know, how are my eyes, how's everything six months down the road after surgery. So today I'm going to share a bit of my experience. It has been about seven to eight months since the surgery and let's go through bit by bit on the different areas. First up is the vision, sharpness and clarity. For me, honestly, it's about 90 to 95% as sharp as when I was wearing glasses. For some reason, it is still clear, but it's somehow just 5% less clear than when I was wearing glasses. Don't get me wrong, it's really good though. I can see things that are relatively around me with sharpness and that's good enough to get through my daily life, you know, when I'm driving, when I'm watching a movie or reading my phone text. The only thing is, I can't read things that are too near, like here, I can't read at all, I have to put it about this far. And I also can't see things that are too far. I would need a binoculars for it. It gets really blur and can't really see well. So general life, eye cell is good enough for me. I can see things quite all right. Second point, is there eye discomfort with the ICL? After having it for 6-7 months, I totally do not feel a single thing. It's really incredible guys. It's almost like I've forgotten I've worn glasses my whole life and I've also forgotten that there are contact lenses inside my eyes too. It's so seamless. I can't feel a single thing. So if you're worried about you know discomfort, just like how you wear contact lenses and your eyes get you know really pain, I totally do not feel a single thing. Third area, do I still have or have floaters? Yes. For me, I've actually had floaters even before the eye cell surgery and that's because of my maybe eye condition or something whereby I see black specks floating around my vision. Especially on pale backgrounds, it's really, really prevalent. I can see it so obviously. With the eye cell, it's about the same amount as pre-eye cell. So to me, I don't think there's any difference to that. It didn't get worse and it didn't get better. Bottom line, I still have floaters. The next area is the ring light around lights, particularly at night. I shared this before in my earlier videos on how I was kind of like shocked to see so many ring lights, especially when I was driving at night, you know, those lampposts, I would see ring lights all around and it's very distracting. Seven months down the road, still the same. <laughs> Nothing has changed. I still see lots of ring lights, especially if I'm like not really focusing well, like if I'm just, you know, looking down the street without really focusing on something, the ring lights really appear all over. I think I've gotten used to it though. Like it's not really bothering that much. It's more like an aesthetic thing where, yeah, I see halo lights now. I wouldn't put much of a big dent into my experience because it's quite negligible. I'm not really out at night that often also. To me, it's not a big deal. Next up, eye dryness. So for me, I actually do experience eye dryness when I wake up in the morning. I think that's probably because maybe I sleep under the fan or the air condition where you know the air is a bit drier or something like that. For me, most days when I wake up, my eyes feel really, really dry. It's almost like they've been squeezed out of water and now they are parched. What I do is I actually buy eye drops. You can buy any lubricating eye drops just to moisten the eyes when I wake up. And after that, my eyes are fine for the whole day. It's definitely something I have to get used to, the dryness of my eyes in the morning and using eye drops. Before this, I never had dry eyes before when I was wearing glasses. I think my eye condition has like slightly changed because now there is a layer of something inside it. I'm not sure how that works. Next off, eye pressure. I actually did go for many checkups after my surgeries. I think like three or four checkups. There's actually a range from 10 to 21 mmHg, which is millimeter per mercury or something like that. Same as the thermometer. So 10 to 21 is a healthy range. I'm about a 17, which the doctor has noticed. He said that nothing can be done because it's naturally occurring. He said that my eye pressure was also 17 prior ICL. So inserting the ICL actually did not change anything. It's still 17 before and after the surgery. For me, I don't really feel much difference in my eyes. I don't actually feel anything. Like eye pressure is something that happens kind of like within the eye area space. So I don't notice it that much. So probably if it reaches above 21, that's when you probably need to get more medical help and check probably is it like an onset early glaucoma or something like that. And for now, it's still stabilizing at 17-ish. Yeah, I am keeping aware of it, but I think definitely the ICL did not impact it that much. And lastly, this is just my extra input on how I feel wearing ICL is just so convenient. 
wow guys, I can't stress this enough. I feel like this is something I should have done a long time ago, but I had to wait until my eye power was stabilized. Waking up in the morning without having to search for my glasses on the table or like seeing my room in total blurriness or taking my specs out just to do sports or swimming. I can go to the beach now and don't have to worry about my glasses. To me, this is such a liberating experience. I cannot emphasize this enough. I felt like the convenience of ICL just outweighs everything. Cannot imagine myself wearing glasses again. So yes, that's all for my update on having ICLs for about half a year now. I still have to go out for eye checkup every now and then. Probably now is an interval of six months. But other than that, life is good. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!